Welcome to the Daily Challenge for October 7th, 2014. Let's begin. Fuck yes! Oh my god, did I just do that? That is the first time I've ever killed a shopkeeper. I have no idea what this crown does. Did I really just get this weapon? Holy shit! <gasps>
why is my money going down? Fuck. Fuck. I just realized my money's going down. Uh, I guess I shouldn't kill the shopkeeper. Shit.
<laughs> oh my god. Talk about getting ganged up on. That was a fucking crazy run. Wow, I've never blown up a shopkeeper before. I, I don't even know exactly what happens. It looks like you get his crown? And then... Uh, it gave me one of his three items for free, is it? I, I guess it's a random one of his items? Which happened to be the exact item that I wanted. It, it was going to cost 400 and something. But I got the, I believe it's a titanium crossbow. Which is an absolutely exceptional weapon. However, it seems that either killing the shopkeeper or taking his crown makes your money constantly go down. Or something. Because my money kept going down and down very fast. I mean, is it is it just the crown? If it is the crown, then why would anybody even pick up the crown? There's got to be some sort of a positive to it. I don't know. That was insane. I mean, after that, after I realized my money was going down, I was just like, alright, it doesn't even matter what I do. Like, my money is not really going up that much. Although that's not quite true, because when I beat that last boss, it gave me a huge chunk of change. Alright, let's see how we did. I honest, Honestly, I have no idea where I'm going to be on the scoreboards at all. I, that was weird. That was really, really weird. Alright, where am I going to be? <laughs> Number three. Oh, come back! Number three on the scoreboards. It is only about 50 minutes after the daily challenge took over, but nonetheless, that is the highest I think I've ever been. <laughs> I wonder if other people did the same thing I did. I gotta kill a shopkeeper more. You can totally do it. You know, I've test I tested it a little bit in um, hardcore mode. And I believe, what does he have? Let's see. Um, I think a bomb does four points of damage to him, right? I think he has ten points of health, if I remember correctly, and a bomb does four. And he does a lot of damage to you, by the way. He can easily one-hit kill you if you don't have any armor. Which means, if you put down two bombs, you can get him down to two health. And then, oh. Okay, the game just crashed. Alright, uh, goodbye. Necrodancer.exe has stopped working. Right. Anyway, yeah. So you can kill him with two bombs plus a little bit of extra damage. So if you have... Well, if you have three bombs, then you can just kill him with bombs. But if you have two bombs and a decent weapon, anything that does more than one point of damage, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, you can kill him. But yeah, just don't let him get close to you, because he moves once every single beat. So if you stop to attack him, he's going to hit you while you're trying to attack him. There's no move away from him, find the right time to hit him, or anything like that. No, no, he just keeps coming and coming. So it's very dangerous to attack him, because he's very fast, he's very strong. But if you can, it might be worth it. I don't know, I'm going to do some more research right now into exactly what happens when you kill him, and what that crown's about, and the losing money thing, and whether it gives you a random item of his for free. Because I want to know more about that. Also looks like it makes him disappear from all the... All the future shops, which makes sense, because it was always populated by the same dude, and he is indeed dead. So, that does make sense. Anyway, that was a very interesting run. So, that's been the daily challenge for October 7th, 2014. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.